Okay, folks. I'm going to start trying to get back into videos. I've been working on my shop, and it's just... I'm just not making as much headway as I'd hoped. So, for those of you who didn't see the first part of this, this is a drawer-style microwave. We're going to cover each component in turn and what, what the complaint might be on that component. And I thought I'd start, since I've got the cover off, you know, if, if you can't figure out how to take the cover off, you probably shouldn't be working on it. But, so what we have here is we have the stirrer motor. Now, on a lot of microwaves, this may not exist. A lot of microwaves will have a turntable motor. Those motors can be either AC or DC. And you'll notice here on the meter, I'm hoping it shows up, we have this meter set to volts alternating current. And if we look at the motor stamped on here, it's 2.1 watts, 120 volts AC. The purpose of this motor is to stir the microwaves around, move them around so you don't get hot spots, and cook the food more evenly. If you have a unit where the stirrer blade breaks, a lot of times that'll be a scraping noise or something like that. But if the turntable motor goes out, you'll get a clicking, a screeching, or it may just not turn at all. So the way to check this for the turntable, to make sure the problem is in the stirrer assembly, and I've got some water inside of here, you never want to run a microwave empty. Um, this has an add a minute button. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take stay out of the way of my meter. We're going to check for power. Okay, you'll notice it says 119.6 volts. Stop it. Okay. What that tells you is the door switches and the board are good. If you have power to the turntable motor and you're not stirring your microwaves around, then either the turntable motor or turn, I keep saying turntable because it's more common. The stirrer motor or the stirrer blade underneath is bad. It could be one, it could be other, it could be both. With this particular microwave, it's not terribly common to lose either but it is something that you need to be made aware of and again you can use this on most microwaves if the turntable motor goes out you can do the same type of test just look on the motor for what kind of voltage it is run it with something in the microwave and check for the appropriate voltage usually it's going to be 12 volts dc or 120 volts ac so that covers our turntable motor. And you'll find as we go through this, microwaves are actually very, very simple to work on. So it doesn't take a lot to be able to diagnose one of these. So that's your stirrer and or your turntable, as the case may be. And we'll go ahead and reset the camera and we'll keep going here. 